man DC. You rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> oh, petty. So, Japel, aka Johnny Blaze, and her mom are at serious odds right now. They are not seeing eye to eye because of Japel's childhood trauma that she's trying her best to deal with and heal from. Japel describes her life growing up as a not so good one, one in which she went through so much so young and is triggered from what her own mother quote unquote let her go through, which she had been publicly vocal about on numerous occasions, which has caused a wedge between them. And now her mom is at her last straw hearing about it. Japel claims that her mom chose her man over her as a child and sent her to go live with her father when he had already started her whole other family and it stems from her stepfather abusing her when she was just an innocent girl she said that she told her mom about it at the time but her mom just didn't believe her and brushed it off so it just kept on happening and happening and happening right under her mother's nose and because of that it led johnny to act out in outrageous ways and led her to dancing at an early age and selling herself at an even earlier age just becoming an overall rebel so when you saw johnny acting out it was always from pain going crazy Crazy was her coping mechanism from her traumatic childhood, but on the other end of the spectrum, from her mother's point of view, Johnny had a good life. My kids didn't have no bad life. My childhood, it really wasn't that great. And my kids didn't have no bad life. And she did the best that she could and worked hard for her children and never witnessed anything happen to her. And that's where the confusion lays. Johnny's mom says that Johnny is lying on her because she didn't do anything. I did nothing! I did nothing! But Johnny is technically trying to say the same thing, that her mom didn't do anything after she told her what her stepfather was doing. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I would do this to my child. Now, keep in mind that they have moved past that, and Johnny took financial responsibility of her mom and siblings ever since she was dancing at like 18, 19. And it's mainly because of her mom's health issues. A close source of ours who we can't disclose has worked with her at some of the same clubs knowing her since 2009. And that person can tell you that between me and y'all, even when she was homeless, while dancing, she was still paying her mama's bills. Because she values her and loves her that much. So she put her before herself. And I'm sure it's a vice versa thing. Chappelle even claims that her mother has apologized about the situation before and all that, but after one interviews too many of her continuously bringing her mom up, she has had it with her daughter. First it was the Breakfast Club, then it was the main old show, now the Joe Button Show, Button shit. which hasn't even aired yet, but is stirring up trouble. So at this point, she feels like it's a smear campaign against her. She feels like enough is enough, but to Chappelle, it's just the beginning of her healing process. Yikes. My mom, the guy over me. Scott. Did this, this, and that. Told your mother. She didn't use that. Also revealed that her mother and what she allegedly let happen to her was going to be the storyline of Love and Hip Hop many years ago, but she declined that offer because she didn't want her little brother, who was the son of the man who abused her, to get teased. Love and Hip Hop, they wanted to have a highlight on what my mom did to me. Mm. So she left everything bottled in. Look, it's evident that her mother does love her very much and vice versa, but unfortunately, like many mothers, she may not have been aware that this was really happening. When you say I let you, that means I sat there and watched this shit. A lot of things are happening to many kids everywhere and even as we speak, while their mother is right in the other room distracted and it's all because the person doing it is so trusted that the mother is oblivious to the pain that their innocent child is going through and is suffering in silence. So please y'all check on your kids, y'all never know what they are going through. But in this instance, it was a stepdad, but in reality it could be anybody. It's never an outsider, it's always someone who you trust, okay? Sadly, you can't trust nobody, especially with your kids. If you gotta set up some cameras for when you're not around, so be it because you'd be surprised what trust can get you into but yeah based on johnny's transparency and the person that we know who knows her personally we doubt that Chappelle is lying about her experience with her stepfather i mean she's honest about her personal life down to her surgeries whether it's what she's been through she doesn't have any shame down to her nose job so yeah I'm not understanding how a person can switch it and make it seem like I'm wrong for speaking about something that happened to me. And we can also tell that her mother is a good person. And we know for a fact that she is woke. However, it is clear that she had no idea that it was really happening from her perspective. And Japel saying that her mother let it happen when she was young is giving her mother the impression that she is trying to say that her mom trafficked her. So her mom is fearing the possibility of jail right now being as though the state where it happened at Florida has no statute of limitations. Mm. Chappelle does claim to have been trafficked, but not by her mom. Do this to my child. I was snatched at 14 in prostitution. Yeah, like human trafficking? Yeah. Mom, take the guy over me. But right now, Chappelle feels like she's being forced into silence. 
She wrote, someone told me keep things private and lately it's a lot that's been really hurting me and I haven't said a word. I'm narrating my life. Whatever I place out is what they know and will only know that. This is my way of thinking. I'm numb to pain and drama. All I want to do is sing and heal. It will always be hard when you're almost there. That shit hurt and it's cool. And that's her reacting to her mother. My daughter talking shit about me, right? That I let her get raped. All these fucking lies and shit. This is fucking lies. Record this motherfucker. Screen record this bullshit. Record this motherfucker. I got two fucking sons other than her that don't say shit about me. Record this shit till motherfuckers want to talk on these fucking reference club. Motherfuckers want to talk on these fucking talk shows. All this shit. You don't see me talking shit. I don't say a goddamn thing. You know why? Because my character speaks for it fucking self. I'm tired of being lied on. A dog get tired of being kicked. So run and tell that shit. Run and tell that shit. Right? Because I don't give a fuck at this point in time. I don't care. A person that love you don't fuck you up like that. Why the fuck would I tear my own children down? My own seeds. Y'all think about that shit. Right? People quit and want to talk. Talk this shit. I ain't with that drama shit. I ain't with that drama shit. And this shit is painful. It's painful to sit and watch your own fucking child tear you the fuck up. Watch your own child destroy your fucking character. I'm not letting that shit happen. Listening to that button shit, listening to that breakfast club shit, I work too motherfucking hard in my life. I have sacrificed my own life for my fucking children, and that's real shit. Do you know how fucking painful that is to know what you have sacrificed in your fucking life, and then your own fucking child tear you the fuck down? Yo, none of y'all understand what the fuck I go through. I'm tired of this shit, and I'm not gonna stay quiet no more. I can't do this shit no more. I can't do this shit no more. I'm not doing this shit no more. You understand me? I'm not doing this shit no more. I stay quiet long enough. I'm not gonna do this shit no more. I'm not doing it no more. And I'm not gonna feed into it no more. I got too many fucking health issues. I'm fighting for my motherfucking life. And all people doing is talking shit. Don't know me. You don't know me. I read motherfuckers comment talking about your mama dancing, your mama dad. I did nothing. I did nothing. How can you destroy somebody that loves you? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Love don't hurt. You know what I'm saying? Love don't hurt. You understand me? I have been shown real love. And love do not fucking hurt you like that. Love don't hurt you like that. And I don't need, I don't need the sympathy. I just want people to understand my fuck character speaks for its fucking self. My character. My character. Look, I stay up at night with people I don't even fucking know to keep them from doing drugs. I love uplift my people why the fuck would i tell my own fucking children down why tell me that i wouldn't do no shit like that i wouldn't do it and i'm tired of people doing this shit i'm tired i'm not gonna fucking take this shit no more i'm not i'm too much of a fucking strong woman for this bullshit if you all are on my fucking page and you coming from her page, go back there. You don't belong on my page. You don't. <laughs> I don't deserve this shit. I've never hurt no 
not one soul on this fucking planet. Not one. I didn't do I didn't do none of this shit that is being said about me I worked three jobs with my children I didn't have no fucking help I worked, busted my ass, and went to school. I got a license to work in the hospital. They didn't eat no goddamn cheese and mayonnaise sandwiches. My kids didn't grow up in no fucking projects. I did. My kids didn't go to Germany. I did. I traveled all over the world. I made sure that my kids had a good life. My mama and my stepfather is well off. They are affluent melanated people my kids didn't have no bad life <laughs> my kids didn't have no bad life my kids like, they got everything that they wanted so whoever's talking shit about me whoever's putting me down <laughs> Whoever got shit to say about me that I was a bad mother, you don't know what the fuck I went through. You have no fucking idea what the fuck I went through. See? And I don't need to tell my story because it doesn't matter. Me telling my story is not going to change. She can keep lying on me. I did not have my child in trafficking, sex trafficking. I've had people sending me sh this shit in my DM. Oh, you're a bad mom. You had your child in sex trafficking. Well, uh, you just seen my son. My other son lives 30 minutes from me. If I had somebody in child sex trafficking, I would be my ass in jail right now because Florida don't play that shit with children. I never did no shit like that. I didn't even know what it was. I had to look it up. <laughs> when you lie on, when you lie on somebody, that shit could still land me in jail just from word of mouth. Florida has no statute of limitations on sex trafficking. Right. No limitations. I know my law. <laughs> when you say I let you get raped, that means I sat there and watched this shit. Look at me. Look at me. I wouldn't do no shit like that. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. And then you say you love me. You say you love me, but you fucking tear me up in front of millions of fucking people. You tear me up. Hey, everybody. Okay, so... Everybody knows that I've done interviews when I felt comfortable enough where I thought that me and my mom were going to see past this and go and move forward. Of course, in interviews, people ask me about my childhood and it really wasn't that great. But I always tell people, they're like, but you say your mom's your best friend and you love her unconditionally. Yes, I do. Even after my stepfather molested me, I still love my mom. Even though she sent me to my father or either gave me a choice to be in a sane asylum, I still love my mom. And the reason why I'm doing this live, which is so stupid, which is really crazy because you guys probably know me for so long to be like the person that's always drama and stuff. But if you know me now, I've changed so much, so I feel like it'll get 
my point to get across very easily because I'm much calmer. What bothers me is that when people ask me stuff, I live in my truth. When I was on Love and Hip Hop, they wanted to have a highlight on what my mom did to me and I was younger. I didn't want to do it because I cared more about my baby brother in school being picked on because of what his father did to me. So I declined talking about it on the show. When me and my mom got cool again, you know, I decided I'm gonna live in my truth. I can't sit here and, and hide that the fact of what she did and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it because there's so many people out here that hide their truth and then they become monsters. And that's what I was becoming if I didn't get the help I needed in the person that I am right now. So, I don't personally even, you know, speak as much to my mom because something recently happened and I'm trying to figure out this video that she posted. Um, I'm not understanding how a person can switch it and make it seem like I'm wrong for speaking about something that happened to me. Um... I, I, I'm just confused. I, I really am confused. And it's like people usually, you know, I see people like go off on their parents, which I, I mean, I don't condone any of that. Like, it's cool. Like, if that's what you do, that's cool. But for me, it's like if I was in that state of mind back then, it probably would have been so terrible because that, that was the person that I was. But now it's more of like, I don't want people to DM my mother. I don't want people to hit my mom up and be like, oh, you're a terrible mother because we've patched that up and I love my mom very, very much. Um, I love her like with all my heart. Like my mom had cancer three times. I shaved my head three times. My mom has um, sickle cell. My mom has um, lupus. Um, you know, I've walked many times. I've, I've done everything that I feel, even when you go through something like that, that you should do. And I continue to from, and this is not bragging. This is something I'm proud of because I couldn't do it before. I take care of my mom. She's not able to do things because of her beating cancer. You know, my mom worked as a nurse. She cannot work as a nurse when you have epilepsy and seizures, you know, and stuff. So the right thing to do you know, is to take care and love people. And that's what I do. And people are kind of confused on <sighs> people are not used to me being like this. People are not used to me turning that cheek. You know, you might see me sometimes have a couple of episodes where I speak my mind and I'm very angry on my IG, but I always come to the, the, the head of it and tell people like, it's okay to be mad. Just think about what you do. And that's what I'm doing. That's why I have a counselor. That's why I, I, you know, when people, um, Charlemagne asked me like, do you have a counselor from that day? Actually, I started really getting into like myself and getting better and better and, and winning. So it's like with me, with this situation, which I will never bring up again, on live but I'm still going to speak my truth because I help so many people and I help myself it's not about others and I'm not disrespecting my mom I'm just not understanding why this video was surfaced of my mom saying what she said nobody is saying that you hurt your children um, it's more of something that you did and usually children despise their parents and hate their parents for being molested, for being having your stepfather watch you with mirror compact mirrors under your bed, under I mean under your 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 door when you're showering. I didn't get him locked up. I still pretended to go to holidays with my mom and my my siblings. I still smiled in front of everybody. I still went to Christmases and holidays in that same house and you guys see me all the time where I post my mom and I take pride in posting my mom and people get confused because I don't care what people think forgiveness is a big word 
you know gotta forgive people I forgave my mother but I forgave my mom but just because I speak about it to help people grow and help myself grow does not mean I hate my mother um this is embarrassing to even to even um to even address this I, I guess people maybe thought I would come on in here and disrespect my mother because of the video she's posting but I don't lie about things like that you know I don't need to lie there's no need for y'all to DM her and say hateful things. You know, um, my mom's 50 years old. If I don't dislike her or hate her, you guys shouldn't either. And it's crazy because the problem with me, why I didn't heal correctly and now I'm healing is because I cared so much for other people instead of myself. I cannot help it that I've changed and I'm, I've grown. I can't help that. I cannot help that I wanna be happy. I cannot help that I want to grow. I cannot help it if other people don't see that. So I'm just, this is my last time speaking on this. I will not speak on this no more as far as addressing about what my mom and me have going on. Now, as far as me with interviews and stuff, I will continue to speak my piece when it's asked. But if I forgive her, so. I want to um, say I encourage people to be great today. I encourage people to be uplifting. And I encourage people to be happy. And um, sorry about the nails. I'm going to get them done. It's a crazy day tomorrow. And be at peace with themselves and grow because growing is a beautiful thing. And just because I talk about my story does not mean that I hate my mother. But you cannot tell someone to be quiet about something that has happened to, to them and has traumatized them. And damn, they're almost ruined my way of thinking. So, I love you guys. I wish y'all well. Be positive. Be great. Be amazing. And if anybody ever if anybody ever wonders why I continue to do what I'm doing in my music, this is why. My story. So Sorry, I didn't do what people probably thought I was gonna do and, you know, go off, but once again, my even though I'm healing for myself, I'm such an empath that I just care for other people more than myself at times. It's getting better, but yeah. Love you guys. And let me just say this. A lot of people, parents, when their child tells them that so-and-so did such and such to them, nine times out of ten, that parent is so trusting of that person that they just don't believe their child. They rather believe that their child has so much of an imagination that they imagined it. And they also trick themselves into forgetting that their child even told them such a thing, and some do know and probably witness it, but they're so much in shock and scared of the outcome, the retaliation if they speak up on it and hold a person accountable, or of the embarrassment of the world and people that they know, knowing that their family member or their partner is such a mother effing monster, so they take it to their grave. Plus, if they don't have proof, you know what I'm saying, they feel like it's a moot point. And that's why I always encourage cameras, because mother effers go on lie to death.
only a small percentage has the courage to expose something like this. And sometimes the child who was the victim is such in shock themselves and confusion because they trust the person themselves too that they will never tell their parents. And either way it goes, the child is effed up in the head for life and going to be dealing with childhood trauma till their death. I just had to make that clear, so be mindful. That's all. But what are y'all thinking? We want to know, so leave your thoughts below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Petsyblog.com, signing out. Petsyblog.com.